A few days back, prior to all of the reporting going public, someone posted a 4chan link into my Discord from this person claiming this hacker group had hacked into NVIDIA. Now, considering it was from 4chan, I took it with a massive grain of salt and basically just forgot about it. Turns out, they actually did get hacked, and depending on the legitimacy of the hacker group's claims, it's about to get much worse. There has been a lot of really bad and misleading reporting on this situation, with different outlets basically just copying what everyone else is saying, perpetuating the exact same lies. So to make sure that doesn't happen, I've gone and joined their public telegram group. Anyone can join it, I'm not going to share the link, but it's very easy to find. So the group that claim responsibility is a group called Lapsus, spelt with a dollar sign on the end because... I don't know, dollar signs look cool, I guess. But I don't like to call them lapsus, I prefer to call them lapsus. Now, I didn't realize this, but apparently lapsus is an actual word. It means a slip or a lapse. And judging by their recent actions, it's a pretty apt name. And currently, it is completely unclear where the group operates from. But judging by their previous attacks, their previous targets, and the languages they use when they're not speaking in English, it's very likely the group operates somewhere out of South America. But that could very easily just be a cover, and they could be a group in some other region paid to attack those targets. As of this recording, the group has leaked two main things. Employee credentials, things like the username, the email associated with the account, and password hashes. Not plain text passwords, because apparently NVIDIA knows how to manage passwords, unlike basically every other company that seems to get hacked. But employee credentials are easy enough to change. The bigger deal was the 20 gigabyte archive, including various pieces of proprietary NVIDIA data. Things like source code for DLSS, dynamic learning super sampling, the proprietary AI upscaling tech used by NVIDIA. Also details on the Falcon chip, a management chip that exists on all modern NVIDIA GPUs. And details on LHR, the low hash rate feature built into the modern NVIDIA GPUs to make them terrible at mining. Along with partial driver source code and things of that nature. Now this 20 gigabyte archive is basically nothing. If their claims are to be believed, they say they have a one terabyte archive, including things like device schematics, full driver source code, full firmware, software development kits, proprietary documentation, and other internal tools. That data also supposedly includes unreleased cards like the 3090 Ti and the upcoming 4000 series. Now, because of the size of the data, they're planning to release it in five parts. Assuming that NVIDIA doesn't comply with their demands. Now, I cannot confirm or deny whether they actually have this data. All we have to go on right now is what they have said. They say they have everything, and they can basically destroy NVIDIA with it. I don't know. No one besides them have confirmed they have the data. However, NVIDIA has confirmed that a hack did occur. So in a statement to Bleeping Computers, they said, On February 23rd, 2022, NVIDIA became aware of a cybersecurity incident which impacted IT resources. Shortly after discovering the incident, we further hardened our network, engaged cybersecurity incident response experts, and notified law enforcement. Weirdly, a lot of outlets went and reported this was a ransomware attack, but NVIDIA states there was no evidence of ransomware being deployed on the NVIDIA environment, and the group never stated they used ransomware either. However, the group has been involved in prior ransomware attacks, so that's probably where that connection came from. Also, NVIDIA states there is no relationship between the group and the current conflict going on, and the group themselves have stated that they don't get involved in politics. So from all we can see, that seems to be the case. Usually, I don't take hackers at their word, but if there is literally no conflicting evidence, it's basically all we can go on. Funnily, the group claims to have good intentions. I guess they're trying to play up this sort of Robin Hood personality, saying... 
Hello. We decide to help mining and gaming community. We want NVIDIA to push an update for all 30 series firmware that remove every LHR limitation, otherwise we'll leak the HW folder. HW is very likely the hardware folder. If they remove the LHR, we will forget about the HW folder. It's a big folder. It probably is a big folder. We both know LHR impact mining and gaming. Thanks. LHR is designed to only impact miners. However, it does have some knock-on repercussions. So because the hash rate on these cards is lower, if you're a gamer who owns this card and you want to do some mining in your spare time to sort of recoup the cost of the card, it's less effective than it would be. Also, when you're trying to resell the card, because you can't really mine effectively on the card, the resale value is going to be lower. Now, a lot of the LHR limitations have already been circumvented, but you still can't use the cards at 100%. Where this story gets ridiculous is they claim that NVIDIA hacked them back. There is no evidence this happened except for a couple of screenshots from their telegram. Everybody, NVIDIA are criminals. Some days ago, we conducted an attack against NVIDIA and stole one terabyte of confidential data. But they're the criminals, not us. Forget about that. Today, we woke up and found NVIDIA scum had attacked our machine with ransomware. Luckily, we had a backup, but why the F they think they can connect to our private machine and install ransomware? And the way this supposedly happened is to address the rumors about how NVIDIA hacked us. It's simple. Access to NVIDIA Employee VPN requires the PC to be enrolled in the MDN, Mobile Device Management. With this, they were able to connect to a VM we use. Yes, they successfully encrypted the data. However, we have a backup and it's safe from scum. We are not hacked by a competitor's group or any sorts. So actually, your VM was encrypted, not your machine. But let's just say that NVIDIA did hack them, which seems pretty sus to me. They didn't show any evidence of this being ransomware. They showed evidence of encryption, but ransomware implies that you can pay some sort of ransom and get the data back. They didn't show anything of the sort. For anyone who doesn't know why this is sus, it's pretty easy to encrypt your own data and then pretend like someone else is doing it when you control all the data that is being sent out. Earlier I mentioned they had some demands for NVIDIA, so initially all they wanted was LHR to be removed and they won't release the hardware folder. Following that they said, if you pay us a fee, we won't release anything. They never stated what the fee for NVIDIA was going to be though, that required them to actually send them an email. When you keep seeing them mention Friday, the Friday they are talking about, depending on time zone because they never actually specified one, they never specified a time either, is the Friday this video goes live or the following day? But after NVIDIA hacked them, they added one more requirement because they realized they were in a really powerful position. This is a requirement that NVIDIA is never going to meet because they are NVIDIA. They say, we request that NVIDIA commits to completely open source and distribute under a FOSS license their GPU drivers for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux from now on and forever. If this request is not met, on Friday we'll release the complete silicon graphics and computer chipset files for all recent NVIDIA GPUs, including the RTX 3090 Ti and upcoming revisions. Of course, this includes all files with extensions such as .v, .vx, .vg, and more. So NVIDIA, the choice is yours. Either officially make current and all drivers for all cards open source while keeping the Verilog and chipset trade secrets well secret, or not make the drivers open source, making us release the entire silicon chip files so that everyone not only knows your driver's secrets, but also your most closely guarded trade secrets for graphics and computer chipsets too. You have until Friday, you decide. Verilog, for anyone who doesn't know, is the language you use to describe and design chipsets. So effectively what they're saying here is, if you don't meet our demands by Friday, we open source your GPUs. Do I trust hackers on their word? Not a chance. Do I think that if NVIDIA complies with their demands, that they won't just turn around and release the data anyway? God no. There is no guarantee this group is to be trusted. I wouldn't be surprised if NVIDIA basically just calls them on their bluff and just gives them the old Torvalds and say, do it. See what data you have. 
they're probably talking with their legal team to work out what the best course of action is going to be. But come Friday, I don't know if anything is going to happen. Let's say that NVIDIA does nothing, but they do actually have this data. I've seen some outlets saying that this holds the key for good open source Linux drivers, which is an absolutely insane statement because if this data goes public, Novo will never touch this. Any respectable organization will never touch the data because NVIDIA will sue them into the ground. But there are some small groups like hardware hackers, crypto miners, extreme overclockers who are looking at this situation and saying, yeah, there is a lot of really cool stuff we can do with this, assuming the data is going to be real. I can't really condemn anyone who wants to make use of this data, but this is not the key to good open source drivers. Right now, the story is still developing. I'm still in the Telegram group. And if anything crazy happens, like NVIDIA complies with their demands or the data is actually made public, there's probably going to be a follow-up video. So that's going to be it for me now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think they actually have the data they claim to have? Or maybe they just managed to sneak out with this 20 gigabyte archive. I would love to know your thoughts. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.